Okay, okay. And now it is time for level 7. Level 7 is difficult initially, but after you make it past a, uh, a certain section, the rest of the level is super easy, and level 8 really isn't that bad either. So uh, the, the second half of level 7 is kind of the home stretch, so to speak, but it does take a little bit to get there. So start just by slope jumping or air jumping, either one you want to do. Come through here. Dodge these guys, your knife can't hurt. Your, your knife doesn't one-shot a lot of enemies anymore. Grab that health, jump over if you want. I like killing these scarabs, they don't bother me later. Switch to your grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. So, on the next screen, there's an enemy we need to kill. He raises a platform. The idea is for us to be on that platform as he dies. We use this with the grenade launcher. Now, this trick is very RNG dependent, but it's also RNG dependent how well it recovers if it doesn't work. Like for example, in my latest uh, in my latest PB run, my 3238, I did not hit the grenade trick, but right when I got on the platform, I turned around and the enemy I had to kill was literally right there. So it was maybe a half second time loss. So. There's a lot of variance in time with this trick. And the idea for this trick is we're gonna run past him and we're gonna try and just drop a grenade on him. Like this. You can, I like to use this slope. Now he flew away. So you do that, pull out your auto shoddy and go. If it worked, he would have died. Now, you can try and bounce it off the ground and go. It's actually a little bit quicker. Personally, I like to use this slope because that kind of takes some of the, I don't know, the horizontal equation out. And it's kind of just a matter of him being there. So as you run past, pull out your auto shoddy, because that's your backup. If you, oh, I shot the wrong guy. Where'd he go? Right. If you don't hit the grenade trick, just pull out your, uh... oh, wow, I'm out of arrows completely. Uh, that's not good. I actually can't do this level without arrows. Okay, um, let's do this. Okay. So. I guess I'll cover this. Hit this switch. And pull out your knife. And if you see any scarabs, you can stab them through this. No biggie. Um, I jump onto this pillar. Or is it this one? I can't remember. The one that falls first, I jump onto, because once it's all the way down, you can jump, and that saves time. Pull out your bow, pull an arrow, fire. Man, my one shots have been dog shit this tutorial, like dog shit. Anyways, one shot that guy. Now, again, there's a safe strat for this, and there's the way I do it. Hmm, I'm gonna have to load up a save. I don't have enough ammo, but that's fine. It's, it's not a big deal for this level. So, you can go here to here, and this is always the same. You can one-shot that guy, because if you shoot this guy early enough, you can one-shot this guy in the way. I usually don't, because he's not in the way. The idea is you go here to here to here, grab this, go here. Now, for safe strat, jump here, grab this, and go. For aggressive strats, where the hell are these scarabs coming from? That threw me off. For aggressive strats... I know, nice, nice, nice way to play that off fail. So, you can jump here, and you can make this jump. You just have to time it. Now, you cannot, cannot air jump this. If you air jump, you do not have the height. You need to launch, and it's a pretty precise jump. So, yeah. Oh, nice. I hit, I hit right click on accident. That's my minigun. The old 100% bindings. So yeah, um, you can make this jump. It's just difficult. Through here, you can either hug that wall or do an air jump to come around. Pull back an arrow, one shot this guy, and jump. Now, the way this works is, oops, you don't if you were to not kill this guy and just run off and jump, you can make it to the third platform. Just use your mouse. However, the way these platforms work is that the death zone is actually above the pillars initially. 
So even though you haven't passed the pillars or the rocks, you can hit the death zone and die. So you have got to get above one of the rocks, get inside a purple area ASAP. Have to. Now, one-shotting this guy and then jumping for the second one's a lot more consistent on that front. Whereas skipping the one-shot and just jumping from the third one's a little more tricky. But just know, the it's not an accurate visual representation of where that death zone is and how much time you have to make it to one of these rocks. Usually grab those explosive shells, but I don't have a backpack. No big deal. Okay. This is, uh, in my opinion, the th one of the three hardest screens in the game. Probably the third. First being Canyon, obviously. Second being God Jump Screen. And this one is the third. So the idea is just... There's a, there's a lot of tempo on this screen, if that makes sense. So follow the route I did. You're going to air jump onto those stairs. You can use your map through here if you want. I don't. Right, now, these lava pillars. Lava pillars, we have a pattern, and this is all timing. Go from here, from this one, you have to strafe jump here. Have to strafe jump, and that puts you here. Now, and this is all timing. Jump here, I keep this one in my peripherals, boom, to there. That'll put you right on this one as it goes up. Pull a one-shot arrow, fire. Fall onto this circle. Keep your map open. Jump jump now we're jumping to the white circle boom in that's the hard part of level seven done from there grab this key turn left nice and now now we're on to just running running's the rest of this level you can cut that jump up the elevator i i jump up i try and do it like that if you do it right you can get a speed boost and save uh, height, so that's optimal, but yeah, jump, jump up there. We're going to want to hit this. Like I said, the rest of this level is just running, so uh, if you know the route, you can probably just skip ahead to level 8, but if you don't, I'll show you the way. Now, quick decision. If you want to make your escape a little easier, you can fall from here and air jump under this roof to grab this spiritual invincibility. Personally, I like... I'm gonna do this. I like jumping from the top. I think it saves you a little time. But it does mean that these enemies are moving full speed. And these raptors love to body block you or even push you off the sides. So just be aware of that. Oh yeah, look at that health. Oh yeah. Now, don't worry about falling here. Just run. Just strafe. You will never fall. Just strafe into that. You're good. You are good. The The floor will be there. And same thing for this screen right here. Or this, this section. I jump. There's an invisible wall that will save you. And once the pillar, once the stairs are down, uh, you can go through. Make sure you grab these grenade boxes on your way through. Make sure you have... Uh, you'll need... Do you have a pickup? You don't need, you can have 20. There's a pickup on the next level. Yeah. But yeah, uh, make sure you have, you know, just a ton of shoddy shells, explosive shells, and uh, grenades. If you've been doing the ammo routing correctly, you'll have 30 and 20, which is what you want. I, I died on level six and I didn't reload a save, so we don't have a backpack. That's why I'm short. But yeah, and that is level seven. I am going to end this video and start the next video with the same tip. And that is, when you are ready to enter level 8, run across this entire elevator. Uh, otherwise, you can get a little glitch and it won't accept your key until you step off of it. And obviously that wastes time, so just run across it. Now we didn't get it that time. But, uh, like I said, just run across it because that mitigates the glitch. It actually happened on my latest PB, so um, I know the solution works. So just run across it. This elevator drops down. It's not like you can go anywhere. So, um, yeah. Yeah, just do that. And our next video will be level 8. Um, yeah.
I think I'll probably do the last two bosses as their own video. Actually, I'm definitely going to do that. So um, next next video will just be the level 8 body. And then we'll finish up with Thunder and Campaigner. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in a second.